Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. Today, we're gonna be talking about size. I have a, a couple stats that I heard. Um, actually first, so this is a eight inch F5 reflecting telescope with a um, parabolic mirror. And this of course is the Mead LXD Schmidt Newtonian. However, I'm not specifically talking about these two against each other in particular, just talking about eight or 10 inch. Now, I just changed my, uh, I think the name of the channel now, it's called Joe Jaguar and Angelus City Astronomer. Now, being that I've been in the hobby since 1993, I would say 95% has been from a white light polluted zone or a Bordeaux, I don't know if they call it eight or nine, uh, but a white zone, so the worst. And so I guess you can call me an expert on urban or city viewing and how to do it properly, what is the best size? Starting in the hobby in the 90s, my first real telescope. I had a four and a half inch as my first telescope, but my first um, real one was a six inch F5. And then I upgraded to a 10 inch Mead LX6, which is an SCT, uh, also called the Premier, I believe. And I want to talk about uh, city observing. Okay, so, you know, a lot of times on the forums, I hear this comment a lot, and it actually... I don't like it, it actually irritates me, and it's probably not good to say, uh, because it probably turns off a lot of people, is that uh, a lot of times when people ask on the forums what, uh, like they want, you know, they're in this zone or that zone or in this city, you know, whatever, and they say, what is the best thing to do? How can I see this? Or what's a good size? Or size better than, and a lot of times you hear, uh, something called a gas filter. Now what they're talking about, of course they explain, is the most important thing is go to dark sky. So what, what they say is fill up your tank and you know that's what they call a gas filter. Now I don't like that comment because you know for many many years I actually and when I first started I did not drive at that time either. I have a video um, called what I did to get to dark skies uh, and I took with me like a backpacking camping and I took with me uh, a six inch f5 reflecting telescope on an eq4 uh, and I tell you uh, if you want to watch that video go right ahead but anyway I just don't like that comment uh, because it, I think it discourages people from even trying to even observe in city light pollution or in and out of uh, you know, uh, uh, the cities, like in a white zone, red, uh, orange, and yellow. Um, and I don't think that's good for the hobby. Instead of discouraging it, why not tell people you can do it? Of course, you're going to be limited by certain things, but there's still a ton of stuff that you can see. So I think that's more valuable information than saying, uh, okay, no, you need to get a gas filter. No telescope you get is going to be good. Uh, until you get a gas filter and go out of the city. Okay, there's two stats that I've heard, okay? One is, and now it might be more towards my city, but I think it's a pretty good stat. First, 70% of all new builds out there is the condominium now. I mean, we're already dispersed as much as we can, uh, so everything's going upward. So if you look at every major city, Everything's going up. So if 70% is the uh, new norm of the what's being built out there, that means 70% of the people probably in the hobby are probably going to be in that boat. Now, there's another stat I heard. 80% of most people live in and around urban uh, centers, meaning, you know, metropolis cities, uh, medium cities, small cities, big uh, towns and stuff like that. So if you take into consideration, 80% live in and around urban cities, uh, which means light pollution and that type of thing. And then 70% of people that's being built right now is the condominium and apartments. Then that means most of the people in this hobby is gonna be 
in light polluted zone. So let's help those people out, right? And encourage them if you, there is a lot of stuff you can see and you just have to go to a bigger size, like an eight inch, 10, or maybe a 12 inch size, and you will cut through a lot of that light pollution. And I have seen, I'm talking about hundreds of stuff. If you get the, in this size, again, I would probably say more the 10 and 12 inch versus the eight, but the eight is the starting point. Um, hundred stuff, but hundreds of stuff you can see. However, you do need to block all forms of light and have no form of uh, like hitting you. You have to get dark adapted, get those light pollution filters for the nebulas, and you can see a lot of stuff in that size. Anyway, that's it. What would be more ideal in a white zone where you want to see a ton of stuff? Okay, this is very good. Now, again, don't specifically look at these two, but in an eight inch size, regardless if it's gonna be, okay, an eight inch uh, daub, an eight inch reflector, or uh, a 10 inch daub, a 10 inch reflector on an EQ, whatever, what size? Now, what I did, like I said, after the six inch, I went to a 10 inch SCT, and from where I was at that point, still in a white zone, and the, uh, then I had no stray light off me because I actually built like an observatory on top of the house because a side view is my house was like flat, 80% uh, uh, of the roof. So I was able to put a door at the very top, like at, at the attic, uh, put a wooden, um, or put a deck and then put a wooden fence around. And so basically I was over the street lights because that's like three stories. Uh, there was some of, so I had almost like a 360 view. There was no street lights or no lights of any sort, except maybe a building like a kilometer away. Um, just the lights of people's like um, the bedroom lights or whatever. But it was far enough that it really didn't bother me. So I got dark adaptive. I had a good view. Um, and let me tell you, with a 10 inch size, you are able to see hundreds upon hundreds of stuff. All the solar system stuff. Globby, uh, sorry, double stars by uh, uh, the hundreds, um, open clusters. Again, probably I would say up to at least a hundred. Now that, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're hunting for these things, and remember a lot of times us people, we always go back and we want to review all the best items out there. So clusters, easy. There's many, many, um, globular clusters that you can see of course it's not going to be as good as you know if you're in a really dark site but however you can see them there's a lot of planetary nebulas and other nebulas that you can see uh but there are of course some that you're not going to see by far the hardest ones is uh the galaxies um so i would say about 95 percent of the time i'm doing in the city uh, where I am now, I only have a 180 view. And of course, as you guys see by the videos, I have five, six, seven street lights hitting me. So if you're in the situation like me, and that that's what you have, then what is the best size? Um, I would say eight inch should be the bare minimum. And I don't care if it's a eight inch on an EQ mount like this or an eight inch Dobsonian. Um, or a 10 inch on an EQ, 10 inch on a Dobsonian, I would say you need eight inch to 12 is gonna be the max. Now, 12 is either gonna have to be in a Dobsonian mount, on an EQ is probably gonna be way too heavy. Um, or it's gonna have to be like an SCT, like um, my LX90, uh, 12 inch right there. So, again, if, you guys want to see a good amount of stuff, like hundreds and hundreds of stuff. I think I logged uh, probably five book for, uh, like I actually log everything that I see, a uh, new thing. Uh, you know, I don't count it if I go back and we see some of the best stuff over and over. Uh, I got five journals full of stuff. So if you go to uh, what I would say 10, I think is better than the eight. Eight is good but I think it's 10 and 12 where you need to go. Again, you guys decide if you want like a 10 inch reflector, 10 inch Dobsonian, um, or uh, a 12 inch Dobsonian or a 
maybe an SCT. But I think the 8 inch is good, but it's the 10 and 12 that you need for the city uh, light pollution to punch through. Now, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're not going to see. Uh, most of the galaxies, I would say at least 90% of the galaxies, you're not going to see in good detail. Just, you know, the very cores. There's going to be a lot of nebulas that you will see. Um, if you get uh, also if you helps if you get nebula filters uh, but there's gonna be some that even if you do see it it's not gonna be as good as there but do what you can you know so what I would do in the city is again all the planetary stuff double stars uh, those uh, easy clusters like um, the open clusters and then when you get to dark skies right then you do the globular clusters nebulas and the galaxies now again, there are some globular nebulas that you can see from the city. So do, do those ones, the easy ones, the bright ones. Uh, but then the diffuse ones, the uh, really, uh, the dim ones, uh, galaxies and nebulas do that up, uh, you know, when you go up north. So again, guys, if you're on the forums, stop using that comment. When people ask, uh, you know, I, I'm in this zone, maybe a white zone, red zone, orange zone, and what size should I get? Stop saying, you know, get a gas filter because it's not going to help. Like, um, literally, uh, there's probably millions of people that don't drive or don't have a car, don't have a license. That's it. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and I'll see you and subscribe, of course. I will see you on the next video.